you see here, just typical Yorkshire range, kind of thing most houses had from uh, probably uh, 1850s, 60s onwards. And this one's very, very standard. So what we've got is a big firebox in the middle and an ash pit underneath. And then uh, to one side there's a hob and sometimes with those you have a, a back boiler. So you could pour in water from the top and have a tap on the front and get the, the hot water out this way. Uh, and then on the other side there's a, an oven and the, the flame comes underneath, up the uh, side and then through a system of flues and back uh, through a damper at the back so you can regulate the temperature. And these were used in all kinds of ways. Uh, one of the great things is this is actually a main room heater. So if you have this going in, in the room, uh, it keeps everything really uh, warm. It's uh, also great with the fire guard uh, for airing clothes. And the other thing is if you're in a, a miner's cottage, uh, this is where you have your bath, just on the uh, mat in front of the fire. Uh, but as far as cooking is concerned, uh, then you can uh, use it in all kinds of ways. Uh, there's, if you haven't got a very big fire, this top uh, two bars comes down and forms a hob so you can stand your pans on there. Or the other thing is, you can bring forward this bracket and that's what they call the falling crow and that means you can stand your pans on there, cook on that hinges back up again, just push it back and that's held in position and if you're roasting in front of the fire uh, then you build up the fire as it is now, uh, put a stand underneath and your dripping tin so all the meat drips into it and then you hang your piece of meat in front uh, but you've got to keep it turning just like your rotisserie if it stops still for any time, it'll burn. So you've got to keep the thing uh, spinning. Uh, the other thing that uh, they used to do with this uh, was get the tin really hot and then pour Yorkshire pudding batter in there. So the old fashioned Yorkshire puddings were actually done underneath the meat, but they tended to be really soggy and heavy compared to Yorkshire puddings we have today. Uh, the other things which you see around here are the, the oven and just open that up you see that's just one enormous iron box and the walls are about quarter inch or three eighths of an inch thick and that means there's a fantastic amount of heat in there it's not like a modern oven which is basically a thin sheet of metal just with lagging around it and it means that an oven like this holds the, the heat. Uh, certainly, uh, I've had the, the oven door open. As soon as I close that, uh, it's straight up to the same temperature. That oven's running about 200 degrees centi uh, centigrade now. Uh, so that's absolutely ideal for doing Yorkshire puddings, bread, or anything like that. It's also got a little vent at the top, so if you've got anything that's going to, uh, if you want to get the steam out, you just open it up and then it's there. The other thing which is useful with ranges like this is this top rack right the way across and because the fire is going round there uh, the top gets really hot and that means you can actually use this like a hob and that means that pans which you rest on the top come up to boiling uh, and you actually cook all your veg on there nice and clean and then the top gets gradually cooler as you work across so it's handy for keeping uh, your plates warm and things like that. It's also good at night you can keep your kindling on the top and then it's really dry when you're lighting the fire in the morning. If you're using a fire like this you need all kinds of uh, gadgets of one kind or another uh, you need a decent uh, poker uh, to uh, 
bring out the ashes at the bottom and make sure it burns through. Uh, you need a pair of tongs, so if you need to move any of the coal around you can do that. And the other thing you need is an ash rake because ash builds up underneath the oven and it also builds up on top of the oven. And so here there's a little plate, I won't touch it because it's hot, but if that, that little plate there slots up and that means you can put your rake in and pull out all the soot and make sure that the oven is kept nice and clean on the outside. You need to have an oven cloth and it's made out of uh, a kind of material you don't get now. It's like sacking but it's much finer. This is called harding. Uh, made from, from a, a fabric called hard, like a uh, linen. And you always have one of these uh, hanging on the, the rail, just ready for lifting pans off. Uh, this particular one is at least 100 years old, and this is uh, the one that uh, grandmother used to use. So, with a range like this, uh, it means that you've got virtually everything you need for keeping the house warm and for uh, cooking any kind of food you want. Put the frying pan over the fire if you need and also keeping everything warm ready for serving. Uh, so uh, you can see why these things were so popular and only went out in the days uh, of smoke control orders. But these uh, disappeared and tend to be replaced by gas and electric but it's certainly not the same to cook on.